You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candice. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so let's talk about some Hollywood actresses and actors that I'm sure you know, such as Columbus Short, Terry J. Vaughn, Brian J. White, and Amina Butterfly. Okay, so before we really get into what's going on with them, if you don't know who they are, you would know Columbus Short from the TV show Scandal. You would know Terry J. Vaughn from her iconic role as Lovita Alizé Jenkins Robinson in The Steve Harvey Show, Brian White from the TV show Ray Donovan, as well as Scandal, and Amina Butterfly we all know who was married to Peter Guns on Love & Hip Hop. Okay, so no shade to Amina Butterfly, but the other three actors that I named, Columbus Short, Terry J. Vaughn, and Brian White, they have had and continue to have a very amazing career in acting. And y'all, all of them experienced something so embarrassing and horrible this weekend. They were all a part of this play called Sleeping with the Enemy. On Saturday, October 20th, the show had two showings. The first show was at 3 p.m. and the next show at 7 p.m. The 3 p.m. show went very fine, but then when the 7 p.m. show came around, they canceled the show out of nowhere. I mean, people in hair and makeup ready to go on stage, all of the fans are in the audience with a popcorn ready to watch, and y'all, it got shut down. People didn't get their money back, the actors and actresses allegedly did not get paid. It was a mess. And y'all, all of the actresses were clapping back on social media. The actors and actresses claimed that they were shocked, they didn't know what was going on, and they also claimed that they were not paid. The show was written and produced by Demarcus Bailey and Dominique Smith, and they are allegedly the ones who are responsible for the actors not being paid. The production company is called J.F. Bailey Productions and they are the ones who are being blasted for being the reason why the show was canceled last minute and hardly nobody got paid. And the production people, they claim that they were paid. It's just a whole mess, let me show you what happened. Let's start with actress Terry Vaughn. She got on her Instagram pretty much almost in tears, shocked that they canceled the show literally before they were supposed to walk on stage. Check this out. Hey y'all, the craziest thing in the world that has ever happened to me in my career of doing this just happened tonight. I am dressed, I still got on my clothes for act one for this play, makeup made. I just put this hat on because they just fucking canceled the show that was supposed to start at eight. It's now like nine and they canceled the show and just told the audience, obviously, they had some internal business shit that was happening and they just canceled the show and I am floored and I just want to apologize to anybody that came on my behalf. They came out to see me because I posted about the show. We did the three o'clock show this afternoon and they just fucking canceled the eight o'clock show at nine o'clock tonight and I'm pissed. Fucking pissed. Sorry y'all. All right, you guys, so you saw what Terry J. Vaughn had to say about it. Now, another actor involved, his name is Brian White. He was actually a newer addition to the play. The role that he's playing was actually originally played by Pooch Hall, but y'all know Pooch Hall recently got in trouble with the Popos because he was driving drunk and had his two-year-old in the front seat driving for him. Now, if you missed that story, I swear I'm not making it up, Pooch Hall was driving drunk with his two-year-old driving for him in the front seat. So for obvious reasons, he had some issues with the cops and he was no longer a part of this show, so that's where they hired Brian White to fill in for him. Which was very natural for him because both him and Pooch Hall actually worked together on the show Ray Donovan. So I'm thinking maybe Pooch Hall actually asked him to fill in, but I don't know the specifics of that. But anyway, poor Brian, he didn't even make it from the airport. He flew in for the show to do his role and he never got picked up. The people who were in charge of the show was supposed to pick him up and take him to the show, but they just didn't even answer his calls and just left him stranded at the darn airport. Check out what he had to say. Happy Saturday, Texas. It's your boy. I'm sitting here in Dallas. I am at the hotel waiting for my pickup, getting ready to do this Sleeping with the Enemy play, but nobody's picking me up. Hopefully, I'll see you at the theater soon. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Brian White. I'm leaving a message in response to Terry J. Vaughn, Columbus Short, and Amina Butterfly. I don't know you, but uh, hey sister, I'm sorry this is going on. Uh, the promoters of the show, Sleeping with the Enemy, here in Tyler, Texas, that we're supposed to be doing tonight, canceled. 
They didn't want to pay anybody. Uh, I'm sitting here in Dallas, Texas at the airport hotel. Been here since Friday waiting to be picked up by these guys. Talked to them all. They refused. They refused to pay us. They didn't pay half the cast. Um, and we just couldn't get the show together for you. We're all here. Uh, we came to do a show and to entertain the people in Texas. And the promoters just uh, wouldn't allow it to happen. Uh, I want to apologize to everybody. Um... You know, this is not professional, and I am so sorry this happened. Um, you guys should go after these promoters. Get your money back. Um, don't support them anymore. Uh, everybody involved with Sleeping with the Enemy, this is, not, uh, this is not professional. I'm sorry. What's up, everybody? This is, this is crazy, yo. I am still sitting here in the hotel in Dallas, Texas. No ride. Uh, the promoters of the play flaked. I'm hot, y'all. And this is the last message about the uh, Sleeping with the Enemy play. If you bought a ticket tonight and were hoping to see me, I'm so sorry. I'm here. I'm in your state. But, uh, you know, go holler at your promoters. And I am very sorry. I'll see you next time. Apologies to Columbus Short and Terry J. Vaughn for not being able to be there tonight. Uh, I'm here in Dallas at the hotel. They ain't pay me and they didn't pick me up. Now I got to find a flight home. So I wish I could be there with you all. I apologize to everybody. Uh, see you next time. Okay, so after he did his video response, I looked at his caption for the videos that he posted and in his long response at the very bottom, he pointed people in the direction of who they need to talk to about this situation, like if they want refunds. And the person he said is a woman named Loena. But yes, he pointed everybody in her direction and then I saw her in the comments saying, funny how the people posting got paid. So she claims that they did get paid. But y'all know how that he say, she say stuff go. Now I reached out to a lot of the people who were involved and one of the receipts that I was given was this screenshot of a cash app receipt showing that Brian White was allegedly paid $2,500. So that's why Lawena was in the comment section saying that they did get paid. But regardless of if Brian got paid, what about the makeup artists? What about the other actors and actresses? What about the janitor? What about the light guy? What about the sound guy? What about the people who didn't get paid? Clearly the show was canceled because y'all didn't have y'all money together. But anyway, let's move forward. Well, Columbus Short was the last actor to respond and he pretty much said that, that they didn't have enough money and they shouldn't have did the show in the first place. I guess he went out to dinner with Terry J. Vaughn after the issue happened. She was in better spirits and they talked about it again. Check this out. So, I'm with Terry and we are going to just enjoy food and good times because we tried guys but well, we have fun this afternoon yes we did we'll do it again. that sounds crazy terry what, what when you say we had fun that means well, we did. i got a wife and you had a husband well, I'm, I'm talking about on stage nigga that's what i'm talking about <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? but they tried it out here they tried it and terry showed up and did an amazing job brian was supposed to be there um, and they didn't, they didn't do his job. <laughs> you see what happened? They didn't do it, right? Are you going to wrap up this video? Yes, I'm going to wrap up this video with this. Stop doing things if you don't have the money. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so first, can we please acknowledge the awkwardness of it all? Both of those are very married people, and I know people can be friends, but I don't know. I don't know. My married self just felt very uncomfortable watching those married people all cuddled up and huddled up and Terry blowing in his ear and him liking it. It was a little awkward for me. And I'm a huge fan of Terry J. Vaughn. If you're watching this girl, I'm not hating. I'm just saying that was a little awkward. I'm just saying. But anyways, as you can see, the actors were very, very upset. They went in on social media. I mean, there's a bunch of different comments when they're in the comment section clapping back, saying it was the worst experience they ever had. Very unprofessional. And they don't want anybody to support that promotion company at all. And one more time, the promotion company is called J.F. Bailey Productions. It seems they had a horrible experience with them and they want the message out there that they do horrible business, allegedly. Oh, and I feel like I just really left Amina Butterfly out. I left her out because I didn't see any specific response from her. Maybe she did one and deleted it, but I personally did not see it. She was in the comment section here and there saying things, but she didn't do an official video response. But I did see her rehearsing for the show. She was singing. She had a few things on her Instagram story. I'll show you that real quick, and then I'm gonna end the video. Yeah. 
All right, Amina Butterfly, we hear you with the runs. We know you got the vocals. It really sucks they didn't get to do that play. I feel bad that it got canceled, but hopefully everybody gets their money back. Hopefully the actors get paid, cause it's a mess. But all right, y'all, I'm done with this. I need to know what y'all think. What do y'all think about this production company not paying the actors and actresses and canceling the show literally while the entire audience is sitting in the audience ready to watch the show? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm going to catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.